guy who knows him well and how he could possibly impact both the Knicks on the court and maybe even in free agency. Adam Zagoria, who covers college basketball for the New York Times, Forbes, and is the founder of Zags Blog, joins Sports Extra again because you gave us a great preview before uh, the Big East tournament back in March. So good to see you, Adam. Always good to see you, Tina. So, Adam, you covered R.J. Barrett, of course, in high school at Duke, but also, I mean, college at Duke, but also in high school yeah. at Mount Verde Academy, which is just outside of Orlando, Florida. He was the number one overall prospect coming out of high school. Yeah. Let's first start with how you covered him in high school, what you knew about him and saw him then. Yeah, I mean, I think Knicks fans should be excited because, yeah. you know, they didn't get the number one pick. There was a little disappointment there. But you get the number three pick, which I expect, a lot of people expect, is going to be R.J. Barrett. And you have to remember, this kid was the projected number one pick in the draft, Tina, coming into this college year. Yeah, over Zion before they got to college, exactly. before they got to D. And everyone agreed, you know, R.J. was the projected number one pick. And then, you know, Zion became Zion. And this is a guy, you know, six foot seven, left handed player has been compared to James Harden a little bit. Mm. Only three freshmen, Tina, in the history of college basketball have scored more points than R.J. Barrett. You may have heard of them. Kevin Durant, Trey Young, and Michael Beasley. Real quick, we're hearing these rumors. What, what are you hearing about the rumors of the Knicks trading the pick? I, you know, I don't expect it'll happen. I'm sure that Scott Perry and Steve Mills are, you know, picking up the phone yeah. and taking phone calls and listening, but and they'll start doing some workouts this week and the next couple of weeks leading to the draft. I expect they'll keep the pick and and take RJ Barrett at third. We saw what we saw with the way Barrett played at Duke, but let's go a little bit deeper into his background. Of course, Rowan Barrett played at St. John's, so and his mother was a track star, uh, Keisha. So there's a New York connection, even though they're from Canada, and right. his godfather. <clears throat> two-time NBA MVP Steve Nash so what from that from the family tree and a little bit of the pedigree and and the friends and the family and all that um, would make him a good pick for the New York Knicks yeah that's a great question I mean I've you know talked to his high school coach his AAU coach um, and you know they point and his high school coach has a big his, connection right, his high school coach is Kevin Boyle yes. we should say who coached at St. Pat's here in New Jersey who RJ would be his sixth top three NBA draft pick, including guys like Kyrie Irving and Ben Simmons, D'Angelo Russell. And he said, he told me that RJ could arguably be the best player in the draft, including Zion, and that he expects a dogfight between Zion and RJ for Rookie of the Year. Uh, his AAU coach, Dwayne Washington, told me that RJ fully expects to be picked by the Knicks. He would love that. And, you know, here's a kid who spent a lot of time in New York, Tina, because sure. the father was at St. John's, the mother was at St. John's, he, the mother has family here in Brooklyn, so he's very familiar with New York, he the playgrounds. The yeah. He knows the city. So it's not some guy who's coming in from, you know, podunk uh, wherever and is going to be afraid of the bright lights and the New York City press. He'll, he'll be ready to embrace that. Of course, you brought up that Kevin Boyle coached Kyrie Irving as well in high school. Is there any kind of relationship between guys like Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, and R.J. Barrett? No, but I, but Kevin Boyle will tell you that he thinks, uh, you know, Kyrie is probably going to come to the Knicks. He I does mean, think I mean, that, he, Kevin Boyle. Because we're hearing all kinds of rumors now about the Lakers and Kyrie and all yeah, that Yeah, I jazz. think he said that not based on a conversation with mm -hmm. Kyrie, but that he thinks it'll happen. Yeah. And, you know, I was at the NBA draft lottery in the Combine in Chicago, and there's a lot of buzz there that both Kevin Durant and Kyrie are going to come to the Knicks. Sure. And then you th if you get you know, one of those guys or both of those guys and you throw in RJ, that's really a terrific team. If, so Knicks, pick, so they stick with the three, they pick RJ Barrett. Does that influence, you think, Durant and Irving as well? I don't think so. I mean, look, depending on what you read and hear, you know, Kevin Durant's already purchased property here in the New York area. A year ago. <laughs> you know, Kyrie, is, Kyrie is from New Jersey. There's a... Yeah, his um, dad was a big Knicks fan. There's an academy mm -hmm. at his old high school that they're starting at St. Pat's that he's, I'm told, he's going to be involved with in New Jersey. So there's a lot of smoke sure. that leads you to believe that maybe both guys are coming. But I don't, I don't think drafting RJ is going to cause them to come. Speaking of New Jersey, you were one of the first to report that my Miles Powell will be returning to play at Seton Hall University for his senior year. Yeah. Um, you know, your thoughts on, well, actually, why, how did he come to this decision? When, why did Powell decide to go back to Seton Hall? Well, you know, this year, Tina, guys in college could, underclassmen could test the NBA draft mm -hmm. with an agent. You could have an agent go through the draft process. In his case, he was invited to the G League Combine in Chicago, where he played very well. I was out there. I saw him. He had 23 points in one game. Mm -hmm. um, he was not invited to the main NBA Combine after that, but he did have about half a dozen workouts with NBA teams. And I think basically he got the feedback 
that he wasn't going to be a guaranteed first round pick. You know, he's only about 6'2. He can shoot. Everyone knows he can For shoot. Sure. The NBA guys want to see him handle the ball more and be a little bit more of a point guard. So the upshot is he goes back to Seton Hall. The Seton Hall fans are very excited. And they're, you know, top 10 in a sure, lot of preseason polls. With Kevin Willard locked in there, yeah, what do you think? How, you know, how does that just add, you know, a little more life into those, those Pirates? Yeah, they're going to be a top 10, top 15 preseason team. They could make a sweet 16 or better in the NCAA mm -hmm. tournament. Um, they have a lot of guys coming back, and there'll be a lot of expectations and pressure on Kevin and in South Orange to make a deep run in March. Very exciting. Already excited for college hoops, and then we'll mm -hmm. see what happens on June 20th. Adam, great to see you. Thanks, Thanks so Tina. much for Always. your hoops Always. insight. Stay tuned. Next on Sports Extra, we talk NFL, a former player, a current star, and a good cause. All up next.